Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the BBG, and we got a new one today, Overmortal. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, you get my videos as they come out. And what more would you want out of your day? Now, I've had this game for about 30 hours-ish, so, you know, overall, I'm still quite shallow into the game, shall we say, but I am going to just show everything that's going on in it. Because I did see a lot of comments that were like, yeah, I can't get this game, what's happening? And to that I say, I have no idea. Because I have an Android, but maybe it's not on iPhone. I, t I just don't know. Which means the only answer is blue stacks, which sucks. Now, as I've been playing this game, I've been pretty much reminded of, like, every cultivation mobile game that's come before in the past two years has just been, like, put into one game. Which is really nice in a lot of ways, and I'm going to explain why. So I'm just going to start from the left point and work my way across to the right point just to give you a bigger breakdown as I can, you know. So when you spawn, you basically get a choice between going physical damage and magic damage. I chose magic damage, as you can see, my magic damage is much higher than my physical damage because I like to do the zap zap. But aside from that, what you equip actually like directly affects how you fight. So this, this sort of stuff are literally translating into skills in combat, which is very nice. They're called relics, you know, bottom half relics, top half actual worn items. So there's different colors, of course. I'm going to get into the rarity of that because I really like the crafting system in this game. Like I really like the crafting system in this game. But just going into techniques, this is, if I had to say, it's pretty much a numbers game. Like I've only been playing a day and a bit and I'm already over 2 million battle power. So obviously this goes up to, into the hundreds of millions sort of thing. But you do have a massive amount of control on how you want your character to play, which is, again, I, I really like that. It's not just hit for hit. It's you could change the attack order of like your relics and your actual skills. If like, for example, I've ordered mine so that I do magic damage increase. So when it hits somebody, I do more magic damage to them and then I hit with a magic attack. So I like that. I like that a lot. But this stuff is basically just equivalent to sutras in Immortal Towers. Now... I can't get through this bottleneck because I do not have enough of these technique things. But it's literally just stats. All of them are just stats and they give you bulk power. Same thing with this curio thing. And again, it really reminds me of training mythical beasts of Asia. I can't quite remember the name of it in the way that everything you get just stacks onto each other. You know, so let me just have a look at you. Increase curio passive stats by 20%. Everything just increases everything else's stats. And of course they have different passive effects and stuff. Some of them are actually active. The only active I have is this Fire Lotus thing. It shoots fire <laughs> and it's equipped at the right of my uh, main weapon there. But that is that stuff is kind of relatively self-explanatory. The Ability Tree is something I really like. Now, it's in here that you can actually choose which path you want to go. So I've got an AoE so I can take on more enemies at once. So I can just teleport into the middle of a massive battle and hit four or five enemies all around me so I can farm better. That's my interpretation of it anyway. I'm sure I, I've taken the less DPS route, or at least less direct DPS, so I'm going to suffer in PvP because of that. But it is what it is. It is what it is. So if I go into settings here, I, I can literally tap and drag to change the order in which that I attack, as, as I said before. Very cool. Very, very cool. I really like that. Because that seriously opens up doors for PvP, or even PvE, to be honest. But unfortunately... I think free-to-play PvP is going to be incredibly underwhelming since you're just going to get one smacked by literally any whale, unfortunately. Which is the nature of these numbers games, I'll, I'll be real with you. Especially these type of games where everything is dependent on what your power is. Like, there's already people with like 10, 15 million power. This server's been open under two days. So, the way I look at this game is play for enjoyment. And the features involved in it. And honestly, I've been so impressed so far. Ooh, free stuff. Anyway, Realm. This is the combat stuff. Now, very different to pretty much, I mean, every other cultivation game out there. Because it's, it's not automatic at the moment, obviously. But I can actually switch that to manual. And that is very cool in and of itself. Mostly, you want to do that for bosses. But... Depending on when you're, you know, active or not, you can just miss a boss. Or if you're lucky and your dude's AFKing in the realm that a boss spawns, you can actually still get rewards just because he's AFK wandered into the boss and hit it once or something. Which I very much like. So you get up to 13 hours of free stuff. Which is fair. 
So the map is separated. This is basically the road to ascension, the path of ascension, actually. Yeah, no, top right there. You have to get to the top in order to ascend. So instead of 20, it's, you know, 16, 17, I suppose, including the top. Oh, there you go. 179 years old. And I'm pretty sure it's 100 years a day. That's a guess, though. But yeah, I'm only up to eight. And, you know, the first seven, they were just straightforward battle places. You chuck your dude in there, then you leave him any AFK farm stuff or it's for a quest. You've got to kill a certain amount of things in a certain realm and, you know, standard, standard stuff, fetch quests, you know, kill X. But once I got to eight, I realized they actually have like hidden things in each one of them. Like you got that novice taoist and cultivation ruins. Those are two events within the realm. And I really like that because it drives you to interact with the game, basically. So those cultivation ruins were, I think it was a 10 wave. So each round was a wave of monsters and you have to survive as long as you can and you get permanent stat increasing pills the first time you do it. Pretty sure you can't do it again, like once you've completed it, obviously not. Otherwise I'd still be doing it because I get free pills out of it. But it does drive interaction to the game and that's good because... As, as good as it is just coming on here, going into a realm, then leaving it for 13 hours, it's nice to have other stuff to do, you know? And I mean, the combat itself is pretty straightforward. That little circle there, that little animal, is my absolutely trash tier pet, but we'll get to that. <laughs> He's not good, okay? He's not good. I did not get lucky there, but I'm pretty sure everyone got the ba babe toys? I don't know. Baby toys? Yeah, that was a virtuoso. So I'm in the third realm. So there was, I think it was Connection Foundation and now Virtuoso. So I am still quite far behind in terms of like where the first place is because they can just keep making pills and stuff, which is what they're doing. And when you make a legendary item, it actually just pops up as a notification, which is very cool. But anyway, combat is really quite straightforward. Two circles, they go and attack each other. The bigger the circle, the stronger you are. That's like, so there could be a player on the screen here with double my size and there, there'd only be virtuoso late or something like that. But there's just such a vast difference in strength between those two people in the same realm that that difference is represented by the size of the circle. Now, town itself is freaking massive. You know, Demon Spire is basically endless tower. You fight until you can't. So straightforward as come on kill him honestly all i use that pet for is to just tank a few hits so that i can actually like manage to kill the monster come on you can do it you can do it speed up that's also a really nice feature i'm not gonna lie the fact that you can just speed up the boss fights god saves so much time man what's my ranking in this yeah 356 very popular game I have to say, very popular game. I don't know if, uh, you know, that population is going to drop off drastically over the next week or two because that's generally what happens in these. People don't get to the rank they want or they don't get the things they want. They move on to the next server. So I guess I'll see in, in the next X amount of time. Now, all the people standing here, they're just side quests. I'm not going to go into that, but I will say the translation is beautiful. There is literally no errors and if they if they are i haven't noticed them it's perfectly translated it's stunning like some english words don't really make sense in some contexts but it's amazing to actually have a game that's perfectly translated it for their respective like locality now this market actually functions much the same as basically every other market that oh give me that pet stone bro hell yeah i don't know what that pendant is but i'm gonna get it what is it no way i'll get there i'll get there but the market is where you get all of your recipes for forging, as, as well as your sec. Your sec library is important for your forging and well, your alchemy mostly. But again, we'll get there. We'll get there. We're on a journey together right now. I'm going to take those seeds. But yeah, market's super important in this game. Because if you don't have the right recipes for what you do, you will actually fall behind. Like I've, I've actually fallen behind because I didn't have virtuoso pills until just earlier. Because I just I couldn't find the damn recipe. So I, I was fucked basically now treasure hunt this is basically where you get curios it's gotcha I'm, there's no other way to explain it it's gotcha there's so many curios that this gotcha is going to take you a long time to get all of them i'll, I'll just say that because it costs 2000 premium currency to draw 10 or you got to farm out these little tokens which yeah they're giving a lot to me right now whether that will continue i don't know probably not unless you get like 
a good score in an event or something because obviously it's all new server events and you know new player events and it's just shit is just coming in and it's all luck on <laughs> how well that's going to do so i'm hoping i should get at least two epic ones so let's go to, let's, come on please damn it oh well no magic attack yeah i'll take that physical attack i don't use that but fine i'll take it i guess 115k battle yes it just zooms up man it's crazy crap well it's not crap actually it's quite useful give us a gold give us a gold damn it give me an epic then at least come on there we go oh damn mana points 167 jesus christ that was a lot i will absolutely take that damn now, as you do things like just meeting goals and stuff, you actually can like exchange it for these treasure chests. Different goals give you different stuff and you can open the treasure chest and get more curios, basically. Also very cool, because you can luck out even as a free-to-play and get some gold. Holy shit, that was a thousand. Very nice. Fake Villain is basically the premium currency store. I'm not buying nothing from this. I mean, to be fair, I'm not buying anything with premium currency right now, because I don't know what's best to buy, so I'm just not doing it right now you know what i mean learning the game figuring out what's going on comes first chaos rankings is basically the top look at that first place is 44 million already and he's nascent soul jesus that's past virtuoso i suspect a two his pet is almost as strong as me <laughs> fuck it now anyway bio is basically storyline quest rewards very 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 important as a free to play i think to get these done as quick as you can because you get curios from it you get premium currency you get your technique things to level up your skills all of its power you know all of it but yeah i'm trying not to dwell too long on any one thing just so i can get like the whole game shown to you or at least as much as i can do at the moment shown to you so sec this is probably pretty self-explanatory but at the very least there's actually a shitload to do with interaction in this. So there's a training ground. You can just go in there with other people and actually boost how fast you cultivate. But that's going to require like quite an active thing, which it, which they all are when the game first starts. But whether it remains that way, I don't know if I'm going to stay in Eternal, which is the name of this place, if everyone just quits, you know, because there's no point. Because you do get passive stats from being in a sect and that is going to end up being very important. So I'm not going to go into like every single aspect of this except the library because everything else is just it adds stats to you or you can do it to get contribution. But the library, this shit is important, OK, because all of those books that you see there, they are basically absolutely required in order to level up your techniques and stuff past bottlenecks. So you need to be in a sect, I think. I don't think you can get these books anywhere else. So important you know important and also alchemy recipes very very important i actually need this voidite i need this give me that give me that shit and voidite is basically increasing my storage capacity because it keeps getting full and i lose stuff it doesn't do anything you just it just disappears and it's very upsetting when that happens now abode this is well it's my favorite place because there's alchemy and forging here and i fucking love the way that works here so we'll, we'll get into it i'm pretty sure clone is nascent so yeah you could use your clone to go do realms for you as well very cool very cool anyway magicka that's basically i mean a it's my path of magic b it's where i level up so let's go very cool animations for it too like for real 10 out of 10 they've done very well I am not getting nice and soul for a while. My goodness. Give me that. Tasty. 11,000. Fire out. These are my best pills. For sure. Hell yeah. Anyway, energy rate. That's literally, it increases the speed of your cultivation, basically. Obviously important, but I think you'll max that literally every time you go up to a realm where, because this is locked till I'm middle. But once I hit that level, I will immediately be able to max it until late. Because you just get so much stuff if you're 
going through the game at the pace like the way I am. I'm staying in each area as, exactly as long as I need to to get the stuff that I want. So the reason that's important is because of alchemy and forging. Now, alchemy is awesome, first of all. This is exactly the way alchemy should be. So with the exception of pills like the ones that give you stats, I'm just going to give you an example because I'm pretty sure I can make some. Give me all of the pills. Yeah, so I have a 7.6% chance to completely fail making this or 92% chance to make it. So with agility and anything that gives you stats, it either makes it or it breaks it. That's it. And the reason that's different from the rest is because, for example, if I want to make this revitalizing pill, all of a sudden there's a chance for me to fail it, make a common one, make a green one, make a, make, make a blue one. And that means the quality of the pill and therefore what it does, the effect is increased. I think that's awesome. That is exactly how it should be because depending on the cause you use, aka the quality of your materials, increases the quality, the chance of getting a high quality pill. I love that. Let's see if I can't craft a legendary. Let's go. Come on. Fuck. Fair enough though. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. But... Yeah, so I absolutely love that about this, because the exact same recipe, if I do it with trash, I'll give you the example. Whoa, no, no, no. Oh my god, I almost made 100. Whew, that was terrifying. Okay, can we just, can we just make one, please? Thank you. Oh, figures it makes a fucking blue, seriously? Really? 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 Honestly. Make a white one, please. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. Maybe the trick is to just make one at a time and I get blue every time. Of course it's not. Okay, anyway, back, back. <laughs> so same recipe. The white version gives me 600 cultivation XP. The blue version gives me 2,000. So obviously you can imagine what the legendary orange one would do. It'd be like triple, triple that, which is awesome. I like that. And the same sort of crafting system works for the forging room too. The higher quality monster materials you use, the better chance of actually getting a good drop. So I'm wondering, accessory, I do need that. Let's make it. I can only make a shitty one, unfortunately. What if I give you one of those? So that's like a secondary material that boosts the chances of getting something good. So let's hope. 1% chance of getting legendary. Let's go. I believe in me. Purple? Okay. Honestly? That's pretty good. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take the shit out of that. Let me tell you, that's going straight on. Change. On you go. Inherit. Thankfully, if you level up a thing, you can just put all their levels straight onto the new one. Downside is, I'm pretty sure the higher level it is, the more premium currency it's going to cost. And spirit stones. But spirit stones aren't even a worry. Right now, maybe I'll find something that's going to absolutely cost an arm and a leg in the future. But right now, pfft, I have so many spirit stones. We're going to upgrade you. You're going to go to 10. That's what you're going to do. There you go. You adorable little pendant, you. But yeah, that's why I like alchemy and, the, alchemy and forging in this game. It's so good. Exactly the way it should be. Garden, this is where I grow my herbs. And obviously, high level, unlock more plots to grow stuff in. Very cool. Gardener, he ends up taking care of the gardens, harvesting, planting them, depending on how friendly you are with him. And to get friendly with him, you've got to give him rarer and rarer plants. I can't give him the plant he's currently asking for, so it's gonna, it, it'll just have to wait. Which is fine. I, I need these uh, muragiums at the moment anyway, so I'm happy with it. I'm just buying all the seeds that I, that I have laid eyes on, basically. Just because eventually I'll need it, you know, which is also why I'm chasing the Voidite thing. Speaking of, is it in forging that I make Voidite? Please respond. R3 Voidite, yeah, R2. Voidite, let's go. So, there's absolutely no chance of failure. That's nice. Give me that shit. Beautiful. Six whole more inventory slots. Blows my mind. So necessary, my god. Oh, I appear to have got a shard. Oh, that one. Oh, I can start it up. Yeah? Yeah, go on. Might as well. 
extra 38k battle power. I'll take it. Now, pet. This was actually... I enjoy the way they do the pet system. I do. So, this little pet. This, everybody gets one of these. But you see its aptitude. You can actually increase that with certain pills and stuff. I've just been dumping everything on him simply because I don't think I'm going to get another pet that's as good for, for a while. So, I just make him my cannon fodder that tanks a couple of hits before he dies. That's, that's literally it. But it goes in depth with pets. You know, they got skill trees. I mean, they got skill trees. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jesus. Different skills. Oh my goodness, wouldn't it be nice? Well, I'm not sure if, if I max its aptitude, it actually goes up to uncommon. I don't know if that's the way it works. But I would love to be able to test it. But something tells me it would literally be easier to hold out for another pet of a better quality. So, speaking of, I got that pet egg. So, let's just... Beastmaster. Identify two. Let's go. Fuck. Okay. That's fair. What? I think purples, really. Wouldn't it be nice? Though, now that I think about it, maybe they all start at common and you do have to actually level them up into greater things. Let's assume that's how it works. And dump everything on it. <laughs> Though first, I'm just going to give myself all the good pills before I hand over to the pet. Because the pills I make for my own cultivation can actually be used by my pets as well. Which is both cool and annoying. Because it just means you're going to have to make so many pills. Which makes sense, right? <laughs> that makes sense. Hell yeah, so next level will be mid. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Eat more. Okay. Trash quality, that's fair. Just eat all those. And the rest I will give to little Bubby. There you go. It's absolutely nothing. You greedy bastard. So yeah, you find that stuff from like, you get these maps to secret realms and you have to search them and you get like all these different rare herbs that don't grow anywhere that you can feed your pet for cultivation base. That seems to be the most efficient way to do it, to be honest. But not too sure on the rarity of those or how to get them constantly. So, you know. Now this is like the newbie event. Different things to do over the first seven days and basically if i get to the end i'll get a, another legendary which would be nice i admit that would be very nice but i am not entirely sure i'll be able to do it just because some of these challenges are wild reach demon spice so okay no i'll definitely do that virtuoso late it definitely before seven days but it's not like tomorrow sort of thing it's it's slow and i'm actually going to start focusing on making pills and just pills to boost my level because it needs to happen. It really does. I do believe we are getting free cultivation XP? Question mark? What just happened? I have no idea what just happened, but I'm pretty sure we just got free stuff? Good question mark? What's 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 this? Oh ooh. So I get all of that? Holy shit. Oh no, okay, that's what I was going to say, a legendary atlas, and that was literally the thing I was just talking about, secret realms and stuff, damn. So anyway, I don't want to go on about this too long, simply because I, I've taken too long anyway, this is going to be a long video, and so I apologise about that. Definitely more to come on these, because it has been done very well, it really has. I'm just hoping it stays that way as, as I go up further, or if there's going to be some like paywalls or something, you know, I just don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens, but subscribe if you enjoyed the video, leave me a like, leave me a comment, and of course, as always, have a great day.